Welcome back and once again we are going to be stepping into the world of inscription. So we have played this and died twice. Now <laughs> it sounds such a weird thing to say and almost be excited by the idea of dying in any video game. But in this it does give you the opportunity to make something far better for the future you. And actually the, the stuff that you've got or you've discovered sticks around. So you don't lose out on anything. It's more um, a, a way of learning in this game. So death is merely a learning experiment. Now, of course, I want to keep going. I, know I want to get as far as I can without that, um, that camera once again fixed on me. However, it does allow you to um, go for something next time. Now, last time I had the death card from my very first episode, which really helped out. So let's see what I can do this time and let's see how far along we can get. So we're back. Let's go in. Let's continue. And we're back. Another challenger. I mean, I'm still me, but yes. Did I tell you the tale of the one who came before you? So as we established in previous episodes, this is effectively from the idea that something has happened previously that's brought you to this table. And seemingly you've lost your memory. And so this creature is telling you what happened leading up to this. Um, and those hypnotizing orange eyes come out of nowhere when it talks. And then they're just white eyes in the darkness when he is silent and you don't really see anything else. They put on masks to represent somebody else. When they're telling you about somebody else you've met, there's a mask that goes on, but you never see their face. They felt, they fell to a mad prospector. Nothing comes between that man and his gold. It seems the lowly stink bug has made its way in. See, again, something we discovered last time is that the features of the stink bug and the stoat, the two cards that can speak, are changing. I mean, they're, they're moving there, you can see, as opposed to the other cards. So, the stoat, there's less kind of fur things here, like those little, those three little things there. There's, there's, there's less suggestion that there's fur, and it's become more square. And the stink bug has just completely changed in appearance. So, I don't know what's going on with them, what kind of thing they are. Um, or what it means, but we shall see. But it is dealt, so it stands. Okay, and we also know that we can get up from the table and discover different things um, as we go. It's just finding a way around things, basically. No, you may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must decide. You must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. Okay, so that's like an elk or something. That is a bug, so like the stink bug. Um, and that looks like the Loch Ness monster. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm gonna go with an elk, which is an elk. Cool. The only one that probably looked like the actual thing it's meant to be. Flighty elk. It moves after attacking. So it can't be attacked as easily when it comes back. Good, right? Or it can go the line of something. A randomly chosen hooved card. Did you wish for something else? No, nope, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Okay. An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, then gestured at them brusquely. Choose. <clears throat> okay, so... I think we discovered... Because we got the ant thing last time, the queen bug, which puts an ant back into your deck every time. That's... <sighs> So, a card bearing this sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn of the board. We'll go with that then. 
because if that's anything, then we can get like a really powerful creature and just, yeah, do that. Yeah, do that. Accept it, Lord Carver's offer. It is useless without its second half. But you intuited that this would not be the last encounter with her. Okay. So he's got one of them, and then he's got a different top on, so that's what's doing it there. And he's got an elk with whatever that is. Look! There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Okay, so there's another talking card somewhere. I don't know whether I'm going to pick that up or... Okay. Right, what have we got? So, on the boards, it's got Grand Fur and then that bloody thing, which is going to get more powerful. Because he's... No, it's not going to be more powerful. What's that? F Mighty Leap. A card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the air bonds. Okay, so it stops you from flying over it. Okay. Um, let's try and take, take down the fur. So if we put a squirrel down, we can put the stoat down in place of it. Total misplay. Oh, you think everything's a misplay. Oh god, it can attack because it go, oh. but it does move, so it's not the same every time. Um, if I so, I've got a squirrel. I've, uh, I've got the elk there with two, and then it could move, but it would be attacked by that. If I put the squirrel down and then play that squirrel. There, then I can play. No, I've mucked it up because it's going to attack both. Ah! With one attack. So who's got the better? Def so Elk's got four defense. Okay, so if I play the Elk there and there, put it here, it can't move, but it's got four defense against that one attack. Yes, that should work. I think. I know I might sound like I think, like I know what I'm doing. I really don't at this point. Look at those eyes. And what is this kind of mystical, just red stuff? Oh, it's just, it's all because of this thing. It's so, ah, oh, I love this. The feel of everything about it. Okay, so. If I pick up a squirrel, what's the attack on the wolf? The attack on the wolf is three. That elk has a defense of three, meaning if I play the squirrel there and I play the wolf, take, get rid of stoat and the squirrel, attack the pronghorn, I should kill it immediately, and then the elk can attack and move in and take out the grand fur. Yes! And move? Yep, there we go. I can just play there. That should do it. Yes, come on! I don't know, I, I'm a pro. I'm a pro. I don't know. It's just, it's just second nature to me, obviously. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have a look around. Because I know I can. Let's see what else is in there. Is there anything? So I got the... I've looked in the... That freaked me out. I looked in the... The... the um, safe already. Is there anything else here, though? No, there's nothing else written on the pages. Okay. Squirrel and turkey vulture. Okay, so clearly it wants me to do something there. So if I can do them, great. Okay. Oh, it's free. That was not free before.
Wait a minute. What? What's that? Two. It does, it goes in there. <gasps> oh, another. Oh, it's only because I saw the, the shape of the base. You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel. Though you may wish that you hadn't. Okay. I worry when he says something like that. Okay. That this, looks like it's just going to eat him now. Okay. I still haven't done this one, have I? Because we just keep moving things around and, and hope. So. I will just do it from, from blind luck like I did with the others. <laughs> it's just, it's going to work eventually. Um, oh, three. Okay, so. Okay, so that goes back up then. That was three there. Okay, so move this down. Two. Move it down again. One. Okay, so you've got to go back up there. That there. Three still. Okay. Five, yes! Oh, oh, it's one of the... And I thought I had all the totem heads together. My thanks. The woodcarver will offer this now. Yes! See, I know... <laughs> this is the thing with games like this. Sometimes blind luck. All of these, I just kept moving them. I, okay, it took like two times of dying to get anywhere on this one. But still, hell yeah, right. Also, look at this. That's freaky! And then nothing else, just... It's what... He's watching me wherever I go. Just eyes in the dark. Gee. Okay. Squirrel, turkey vulture. It seems like he wants me to do that. What I want is... I want to figure this out. Because that's... Is that the last thing that I haven't done? Oh, no, because there's still these on the wall as well. That looks good. Hmm. Okay. Right. What have we got? Okay, what are you going to offer me? Um, Loch Ness Monster again. And the wolf. It's a wolf. And then a crow, is that? I mean, the wolves are powerful. Let's go with that. And it's a wolf, yeah. It's the only one, they're the only ones that seem to... Oh, they're the only ones that seem to actually look like it. So we'll go with that. Okay, that's... That's this again. Yeah, it's this again. I've got both of them together. Okay, so give me a head. Give me a decent, like, the wolf or something. Because that's... That's going to make it more powerful, so... The old woodcarver again appeared before you. Choose. Uh, wolf. Hell yes. Because that's a power... The wolf is the most powerful thing I think I've got. I'd make it more powerful next time around. Hell yeah. The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The fledgling sigil will now be marked upon all your canine creatures. Okay, so it's not just wolves, it's like... I haven't seen anything else as canine, but okay. Um, I can't remember what both of these mean. Let's just go with the skull, I guess. Yeah, right, okay. So... What has he put down? Coyote, coyotes. Not much attack or anything. There's not a lot I can do. Let's put... Uh, do I put a bullfrog down? Or do I just play without? Because um, I can't pick up anything here. Yeah. You can draw a card on your first turn. Yeah, let's put that down. And let's put the bullfrog down. Because it's got an attack of some kind. And yeah, it's going to take get taken out by them. But at least it's not direct onto me. That's not good. Okay. Um, it's going to attack me three times and I can't do anything about it. I'm going to have to even it out. Uh, somehow just more... Oh, just the way... Oh, it's awesome, but still. Right, let's just play as that.
I was immediately, oh, that was useless then. That was absolutely pointless. Absolutely fucking pointless. Why did I do that? I hoped for more. Have I got worse since the last time I played this? Gods. There's people watching this now, I'm sure, just going, what are you doing? Okay. I can do this. I can do this. I swear I can. Add the most expense, exquisite pelts. I don't know what use they are. The first one's free. Okay, I'll have it. Thank you. Much appreciated. Um, I think that is that where you can buy cards, is it? Yes. Okay, so. Hello. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that the stink bug? That's a woman! It's a woman! So the stink bug, and then I'm assuming the stoat as well then, because it can talk. They're people like me who have been... It's their souls. They've had their souls go... Oh my god. Right, okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, I want the moving thing for me elk, I think. Okay, that's, see, the mystery starts to unfold more and more. So I, I saw that it was changing, but it hadn't changed into a woman. Now it's changed into the woman. That's interesting to know. <laughs> it's me. Am I your choice? Uh, now I say it's a woman. My, my choice of voice may not entirely go, but I'm going to stick with it. Um, the idea that it's saying, am I your choice, makes me think that it should be. I'm going to go with that. Empower me! Feels like I should. They seem to want that. You know, am I your choice, you know? Okay. Let's see if I can actually win this time. Jesus. The wolf has got that sigil. Stinkbug's got that. Okay. I can't really do anything. God, what do I do? What have they got? The coyote, which was what got me last time. I can't pick up the squirrel. Can't do that. Uh, God almighty. Right, so. Not good. Not good at all. I'm going to play the rabbit pelt just because it's defense. And then, I don't know. pick up another squirrel now then if I put the squirrel down there then the other squirrel there then if I bring the wolf on there that also gives me the bones to bring on the stink bug there good play that's good yeah I think yes that stings um, squirrel, because I can still keep attacking. Go again. That's going to take an... Uh, the alpha doesn't have an attack, so... That should... There, go again. That should do it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Had a plan that time. The plan worked. We did well. We did it... Well, we survived, anyway. <laughs> Whether it was well or not, I don't know. Sparrow... Meddlesome bat, a minor terror. Makes me think I should get it. Or oh, the raven. Raven's one, just two attack, two attack, one attack. Only one health. That's got three health. That's the best one, isn't it? But it's got two. Urgh, that's the easiest one to call on the board. With two health. Yeah, we'll go with the sparrow. Okay, so that's the one where I can put together. That's... I need extra items. Let's go with the extra items. It's bleating yields three blood if you can ignore the bleating. It's bleating. So if I sacrifice him, I get three blood, which means... Yeah, that makes most sense. Because I could put a squirrel on, replace him with that with one blood, then get that and get three blood, which means I could put the wolf on... Or something similar. Yes. That one. Um, and again, same thing. Oh, the prospector. Okay. 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 A chill mist.
fist closed in around you. I love this. Again, it's so West End and just, oh, it's atmospheric. I can feel it. I can feel this. I'm in my office, but I can feel this. You're not alone. A figure emerged from the fog. Stand in the way of me gold! Be darned! Greetings! Okay, so I remember from the last time I've got to get rid of the mule. So that's going to be my big plan for the attack. But I also need a defense. So. If I put down. That's defense. Then bring on both there to attack. Yeah, let's try that for now. Okay, because it now makes. Uh, okay, so if I. Yeah, there. The sparrow just needs that to attack. It's got that there. Um, black goat. Oh, God, no. I've got to put the stink bug in. Okay, so... Gotta do that, gotta do that. Shall we? Um, but then... No, then if I bring you on... Because then I can then bring a sparrow on in your place to attack, kill off the coyote, go. That was a massive misplay, I think, on my part. Prospector boss, again. Oh. This is not looking good, actually. And I can't bring them on. Crap. Oh, this is not good. Get a squirrel. I have to use this, aren't I? To take out another. Uh, the, oh my God! It would take out another tooth. I thought that's what the idea was, and maybe two teeth because it was enough. Jesus Christ! Okay! Good! Fucking hell, now I can't see properly. It's blurred. Oh my Jesus Christ. Um. Uh. Hell. Oh hell. Right. Um. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Squirrel. Stones. Um, pick up from there. It's the wolf, but I can't put it down. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I, can't, I, I wanted something. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm dead and blind. What the hell happened there? More gold for me! Jesus! I'm blinded. What in the feck just happened there? I'm still blind. Me dying doesn't help that? Oh my god. Please try to remain alive for just a short while longer. I would like a memento. I mean, the eye really did balance the scales, but Jesus Christ. Yeah. That happened so quickly. That is the quickest I've died in that game. That is. Not good. We've got to make a death card. We'll make it better for the future. But what the hell happened there? That was not a good... That was not a good outing for me. I think I've forgotten how to play this game since the last time. 
Guys, I know there's plenty of people uh, probably watching this. I hope there's plenty of people watching this. And I know that many of you will be gamers far better than me. Up for bad gaming, kind of obvious. I guarantee you, you will die in this game. Because I know why everyone's thinking, oh yeah, but I'm a gamer, I can play. No, you will die. I don't care. I'm a good, I'm good on tabletop games. This is similar to a tabletop game, except there's a lot of, you know, tricky changing of rules. And I'm dying. I, I will be amazed. I'll be amazed if I see anyone that is a gamer do this and not die. I've seen Jacksepticeye play the first episode and things like that. He died. Almost as quickly as I did in the first one as well. So, yeah. Let us begin. Well, uh, um... Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Well, it's going to be the rabbit pelt because it's free. The cost of free from the rabbit pelt. And another. This time I will use its power and health. The numbers. Wolf, obviously the most powerful. Well, not the most, but the more powerful. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. I had nothing basically left in my deck, so Sparrow. The sigil of Airborne from the Sparrow. So the more you have left in your deck as well, is the more you can play. So if you have really... So if you die, you could almost... So you could almost basically get an incredible hand, forcefully die so that you have way more to choose from in your death card. It's almost like a cheat way through. But then you don't always get the card. I didn't get the up, uh, up the second card, so... Okay. I never did ask your name. Up to third. Up the third. Prepare yourself. I want to. Death awaits. Eh. Are you ready? Nope. I don't want to. Okay, so I think that is it for this episode. I know, I keep dying. It's, I, I swear it's got to be done with this game. And it really does help you learn. And you get so much out of it. I mean, see what we have done there. Um, I think we are definitely setting ourselves up for the future.